Hey guys, how's it going? So this video we are going to be talking about my position in Aurora. Um, please give me a thumbs up for this video. But if you dislike me, also if you hate me, you can also give me a thumbs down. So for anybody, if I notice a lot of thumbs down, that means a lot of people hate me. But anyways, I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video. So yeah, moving forward, before I show you my position, I wanted to show you a little, little small video. It's not really a video, but it's a way for me, the my Aurora rules that I made. This is a video, a small little video I made, but I'm going to be talking about it as I play the video and pause it. So my Aurora rules. Uh, so rule number one, a maximum of amount of shares is 10,000 shares. Why 10,000 shares? Because if Aurora goes back to $100, that would be a million dollars. So a million dollars. So that is the maximum amount and I won't buy it unless the stock really drops in a traumatic way and for like no apparent reason it just drops at like no news, nothing. It just completely flushes and goes to $9.99. Then yes, I will be trying to attempt to buy at least 10,000 shares maximum absolute maximum I don't want to go any more than that uh, only and the, the only way I'm doing it is if the stock drops like really low like nine dollars and ninety nine cents like but that's absolute maximum and then rule number two is 500 shares buy at a time so I don't want to be, you know, just plumbling money into a rare stock just all at once. I would probably put in about 500 shares. Like, if I see a really, really red day, or I see, like, a, a day that's down, like, 10% or 8% or 10%, I will definitely be adding 500 shares to it. And if it keeps going down, I'll add 500 shares to it. And then rule number three is a mat. I want at least four thousand shares as a long term investment. The rest. So if I go, let's say if I had six thousand shares, then you know if I'm profitable, I will take my profit up to a maximum of four thousand shares. I will not take my profit. Uh, I will only yeah. So four thousand shares is the absolute maximum. Uh, minimum that I will have as a long term. So if the stock went to a hundred bucks, then I made four hundred thousand dollars. Will it go to a hundred bucks? If Aurora executes properly, if Aurora can generate enough excitement, then I think it could be valued at ten billion dollars again in the future. But you know, I think a new CEO would need to be coming in. Uh, Aurora would need to have the execute in the United States. If the United States is a wild card right now, if Aurora can really execute in the United States and show that they are really growing the United States, their stock could be valued at extremely high levels. But w w you know, like a hundred bucks. That's I'm hoping that's gonna be the scenario. I don't know if that's gonna be the scenario. But I do support Aurora by buying the stock. So yeah, that's my uh, that is rule number three, uh, and that is it for the video. That's all my rules. That's my entire rule set. And now I will be sharing my position on Aurora. So my position on Aurora right now is I have a total of three four thousand shares. I have one thousand shares at. Uh, eighteen dollars. Uh, uh, with a twenty-five percent profit, and then I have three thousand shares at fifteen eighty-one with a one point four eight percent profit, nine hundred and eighty-three dollars. Uh, this is going to be my core position. Uh, I may sell my U.S. position. Why do I have U.S.? Well, because I had U.S. dollars at the time, and I don't know. I just the number looked lower, so oh wait, there was a, there is a reason why I bought some U.S. There was one day when the the stock market was closed on the Canadian side, so I went and I bought it on the U.S. side because I had U.S. dollars. So since I bought it on the U.S. side, I just continued to use my U.S. dollars to buy a Royal. Maybe I should have wait. I should have used. I should have just waited and bought it in Canadian. Because the stock was very volatile, but I was being an idiot. I was being too much of a bull. I, I, 
honestly, the stock can do anything. Like, we could dip back to $9.99. It probably won't happen, but I will definitely add to my position. I can definitely buy at least 10,000 shares right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I don't want to get greedy. I want to keep my cash position and my uh, cash position and my stock position at a good pace right now my cash position I'm not gonna disclose my cash position because I don't want you guys to take out a calculator and figure how much money I have in the uh, how much money I have so uh, I'm not going to push out my cash position because I don't want people to know how much money I have so right now I have eighty nine thousand dollars invested into raw i had more this morning but i sold it because i thought the stock price was going to drop more we'll see what happens uh in the uh what happens but it could drop more it could go up i don't know then the day could uh maybe i should sell this position and re-enter at a lower price yeah that would have been the, the smarter choice but what happened if you know tuesday comes and big massive news and the stock goes to like $20 and never looks back so you know that's the reason why I don't want to sell because of FOMO and uh, I want to keep a long term position and uh, this is my and this price right here is my pain indicator so if I'm losing 20% on that position I know that I should be buying more because that is my pain indicator it's, and this is my support indicator where if it drops to around 18 Canadian dollars, I'd probably think about buying another 500, maybe, you know, 500. I, I can only buy 500 shares at a time. That is my rule. So I don't want to break my rule because if you get too greedy and you put in all your money at once, what happens the stock drops? You have no options to do whatever. You just, you have to hope that the stock price keeps going up. So I'm going to be making small injections of 500 shares a buy and then I may even sell that take some profit if the stock skyrockets and goes 36 70 percent in one day because when a stock skyrockets there's always a correction afterwards you know it might skyrocket for a couple of days but eventually there will be a massive correction because stocks don't just keep going up they go up and down because a lot of people like to take profits so yeah so moving forward uh you know, let's look at Aurora stock right now. So Aurora stock is trading at 16 USD. It's, you know, kind of under pressure a little bit right now. Uh, it could go down lower. I don't know. Like right now, if we look at the charting from a charting pers perspective, Aurora is uptrending. It ha it just got its golden cross. And, you know, I think if it goes back to around 1275 US. That's a buying opportunity. Oh, lower. If it goes lower than twelve seventy five US, that's a buying opportunity. Uh, but again, that's my opinion. I don't know if it'll go down there. It could just keep going up. The RSI levels at sixty three. You know, Aurora could come out with some great, fantastic news and prop the stock up. Canopy could. You know, if Canopy skyrockets, Aurora is going to skyrocket with uh, a, a Canopy, in my opinion. So, if Canopy had good earnings and uh, the stock skyrockets, it's going to uplift Aurora's stock too. Aurora is going to go up massively. But, we'll see what happens. We'll see if that's going to be the scenario moving forward. Uh, but again, I don't want to get too greedy with Aurora. 4,000 is my... my 4,000 shares is my minimum requirement of a long-term investment i will buy some more but then i will also swing trade it if it goes up so and i hope that you know i hope i do hope that aurora becomes the number one pop most popular stock on robin hood it's just it makes me feel good to see aurora as the number one company on robin hood i don't think that's going to be the scenario again because i know how retail investor works they are not going to buy aurora stock Unless Coke buy, uh, unless Coke buys out, like unless you know a big company like Coke invests like billions of dollars into Aurora, I don't think uh, Robinhood investors will you know pump money into Aurora. But even if they do, they wouldn't do very much, like a couple hundred dollars, you know, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars at best. Maybe $10,000 for like the richer Robin Hood investors. But, uh, 
you know. The, but still, I want to see more. Uh, I want to see Aurora as, as the number one because it brings a lot of attention to Aurora, and I want to see Aurora as you know. I just a top position. Ford shouldn't be there. Aurora should be there. You know, that's that's how I feel. That's how I personally feel. So, uh, and then moving on, Canopy up the after hours up eighteen cents. Canopy is. You know, it just keeps running up. So, earnings are coming up here. I am going to be playing the bear with the earnings. I think earnings are going to crash. But, we'll see though. I mean, I'm not going to gamble a huge amount for earnings. I'm, I'm going to gamble a small amount. But, uh, we'll see what happens. The higher the stock goes, the more of a put options I will buy. And the higher this goes, the less likely Aurora is going to drop. So that's the reason why I don't want to sell my whole position because I could totally be wrong and Aurora may not drop and we could see Aurora back at $17, $18 next week. So, you know, anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.